Hey guys, Handy Capable Gamer here, back with you on the channel finally after a few weeks of being absent. I apologize for that, I had some stuff come up in real life that I had to deal with and it kept me away from YouTube. But hopefully I'm back with you guys to stay, and today I'm bringing you my review of Special Delivery on PSVR. Now, Special Delivery has gotten a really bad rap since release. I don't know, about a week or two ago, and I wasn't going to review it, but the reason I am is because the goal of this channel is all about accessibility. I play from my wheelchair, and I know there's other disabled gamers out there, and this is one of the PlayStation VR games that you can play completely seated. And at a, as an added bonus, they allow the ability to use the aim controller, which is technically probably ridiculous in a game like this, but I bought the aim controller, I love it, and I want more reasons to use it, so this gave me an extra reason. So this will be my first time jumping into this, and let's just see how it goes. Go to new game. I know that using the aim controller, you shoot the papers using the trigger, you break with L1 or R1, you turn with your head, and aim with your head, so you don't even aim with the gun, which is odd. As you can... Well, I guess actually you do aim with the gun. Somebody told me you didn't, but it looks like you do. And you steer with your head. So far, the aiming does not go where you think it would go. But, as long as you get it in the porch or the yard, you're good. So I will stop aiming for the mailboxes. And just start aiming for the porches. See, I was a bit too busy shooting to pay attention to where I was going. Ooh. Alright, I feel like the steering is a little bit off, especially since you have to use your head. And I missed those papers. <laughs> missed delivery is five, successful delivery is ten. Let's see if I can run that again without the crashes. Unless that counts as passing the level. It's very hard to steer with your head while looking where you're supposed to be delivering. I will say that. And the graphics are fine, but they're flatter than I would have expected. There's not the... The original Paperboy, the re it was a really hard game, but the reason people enjoyed it was because it had a charm to it with trying to beat your scores and just the look of it. This would look cool if it looks similar to Windlands, but it's just so flat it feels like you're almost not here. So it's VR without the immersion to me. I will admit, I was having fun firing the papers, so this game does get a thumbs up from me in that respect. But let's keep playing and see what I think.
And I need more papers. Okay, that tornado technically didn't touch me, but I guess you can't be anywhere near it. Good to know. Yeah, this is very difficult. And the turning is... I have it on the fastest setting because people said that improves it, and it does. If you don't turn it up, the turning is almost non-responsive with your head. But, like I said, while you're trying to look around and aim, turning with your head just doesn't help. And even if you use the move controllers, you're still... Or the DualShock, I mean, not the move controllers. I'm not sure if you can use the move controllers on this. But I know you can use the DualShock. Even if you do that, you're still aiming with your head, so... I don't know. I feel like looking around with your head is fine, but if they're going to allow aim support, you should be aiming with the aim strictly, and let me, let's just see if I can do this one more time. I'm kind of frustrated that... I can't do this as well as I'd hope to. Okay, so I guess you're just steering with your head. You're not actually aiming with your head, so that's alright. But... It's just distracting because you're trying to look around and... It's hard to. Because. You're trying to shoot the papers while looking around, and overall, it's just distracting. But I am getting the hang of the aiming, so, or I mean the steering, I keep saying aiming when I mean to say steering. I missed zero deliveries and had seven successful. Let's try that one more time. I will say this is fun. I'm not entirely sure it's worth 10 or $15, whatever they're charging. I'd have to look again to see. It's fun, it's a good time waster. But I wish it felt more like I was actually driving the bike. You don't have an avatar, you don't have hands, you're just kind of floating here. And... The aim controller support is great, but it just looks like you're driving around delivering papers with a, a super soaker. I feel like if you had an avatar with hands that could actually reach in the basket and grab the papers, it would be a lot better. And I hit the mailbox.
And I'm noticing that sometimes these deliveries don't count. It says you can get it in the mailbox, the porch, or the yard. And sometimes they count and sometimes they don't. I'm shooting them in the yard, at the mailbox. They hardly ever go directly in the mailbox with the aim controller. And even when they do land in the yard, half the time I don't get credit. So I don't like that. And when I get to intersections, I feel like, you know, there's no traffic there. And then all of a sudden when I'm in the middle of the street, there's traffic. So I feel like the traffic settings are a little bit random. But we'll continue playing to s get a full sense of what this game is like. I think this is all it is. I think every level is you just drive down the street and try to get the papers in the yard while avoiding the elderly people, the dogs, and the tornadoes. And I thought the obstacles were procedurally generated, but it looks as though they are all in the same spot every time. We'll see if this time if that's the case. Yep, see, that old lady was there last time. Help, I mean the cars might even be in the same spot every time, I'm not sure. See, I had no way to avoid that car. Cause even when you hit the brakes, you don't completely stop. See, I slowed down, but I didn't stop. I tried to turn away from that tornado, but the response was too slow. And that's weird. I don't know if you guys just saw that, but when it gave me my results, it said deliveries made two, missed deliveries zero. And did you notice when I was driving down this road, all the mailboxes were red, meaning they didn't want a delivery? What's the point of a paper delivery game if you're only driving down this long ass road and making two deliveries? I don't understand. And I know when this game came out, the turning was a lot worse. There was a lot more glitches in terms of the enemy uh, hit detection. Or I should say the obstacle, not enemy. So they have improved the game. And it's completely playable. And mildly fun. But it's quite difficult. And I haven't decided if the difficulty is worth your trouble. And you can't go any faster. This is as fast as it goes. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Yeah, see, there's no deliveries on this road. Why am I delivering papers right now? If there's more obstacles than there are deliveries. 
And I, since I couldn't go any faster, I couldn't avoid that car if I wanted to. Yeah, I see no deliveries on this road. I feel like that's a problem. I noticed it said when I died I lost subscribers a couple times ago. I wonder if the more you die the less deliveries you're allowed to make. But if that's the case then that means every time you have a run where you die a lot you might as well just restart the entire game. So I'm, the delivery system just doesn't make sense to me. Apparently I'm just supposed to be collecting these coins right now. But you also want to get the papers along the way. Avoid the tornado. See, I was trying to see if I could shoot these people. And apparently not, because I just hit that lady in the ass, and it did nothing. Apparently I missed a delivery, and only had one successful delivery. And that is what it is. I died so much I'm at negative 20 subscribers. So, just for test purposes, I want to see if I go back to the main menu and I hit continue. Do I stay at the same subscription status? Because if you do, it's almost like a permadeath game. You have no way to recover from playing so badly. Therefore, in order to recover, you just have to start over. And even when I got mission successful, it seemed like I was driving down the same streets. So I don't think there's any variation in the look of the environment. There's only variation in the placement of the obstacles. And I think occasionally you get... Well, it does say Region 1, so maybe there's different regions. And see, the dog followed me and killed me. That doesn't seem fair. Oh, 
Well, I got the delivery from behind. Yeah, I don't think you can actually hurt the dogs. So you just have to hope they don't keep up with you. And, as you can see, I believe I've answered my own question. I'm so low on subscribers that I'm just driving around with no papers to deliver. I'm getting better at steering the bike, but because it only goes one consistent speed, it doesn't feel like I'm riding a bike. The avatar would definitely help. Oh, I did hit him. I guess you can do that. It just takes precision, which this game doesn't have. And I've never been this far on the map. I wonder if I can actually turn this corner. Holy crap, I got one in the mailbox. Oh, I don't like that at all. Apparently you can get hit from traffic from behind. That seems highly unfair. So apparently that's what this game has to offer. So I think you guys have seen enough. Uh, my overall impressions of this game, the pros would be the aim controller is supported, you can play it completely sitting down, and it gets mildly entertaining. The cons would be unpredictable obstacles and the game not telling you how to defend yourself against them too well. Um, the turning is still not where I would want it to be, even though they've improved it. And the look of the game, it's just not immersive. It's colorful, kind of, but it's not immersive. So is it a game I would recommend? I would say wait for a sale, unless you have cash to burn, and just go into it expecting a time waster. This doesn't have the classic feel of Paperboy. But it is a budget price title, I think it's somewhere between 10 and $15. Hopefully closer to 10 and maybe they'll get a sale pretty soon. Overall, I would say wait on this one, guys, unless you're just really wanting a new PSVR game, but with all the games that were just announced at E3, I think you could hold off on this one. I will have a review of Ancient Emulator coming, and that one will be a little more in-depth because that game has more to it than this one, but this one, what you see is what you get. And my biggest complaint, I said it's not immersive. And for me, that's the biggest complaint because it's a VR game. If it's not immersive, why are we playing it? I guess it is what it is. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. 
and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks.